Today's lecture will discuss comparators, and this is based upon our discussion of operational amplifier applications. A comparator is an operational amplifier without a feedback resistor connected between the output and inverting terminal. Remember, this feedback resistor causes negative feedback, which stabilizes the positive and negative terminals to be at the same value and ensures stable operation of an operational amplifier. So when you remove that feedback resistor, any small difference between the negative and positive terminal of an op amp will cause the output to go to the positive or negative power rail. Since the open loop gain A of an operational amplifier is very large, V0 is equal to A times VP minus VN, this will always go to the negative or positive power supply without that negative feedback, which regulates the input. If the positive terminal is greater than the negative terminal, the op amp will amplify the difference and the output of the value will go to the positive power supply. If the input voltage at the negative terminal is greater than the input voltage at the positive terminal, the op amp will output the value of the negative power supply. Figure one shows an example of the comparator operation. Notice that unlike other op amps that had negative feedback that we've studied this quarter, there would be a linear region and the region where the saturation occurs. However, when you remove that feedback resistor, the op amp only operates at positive or negative power supply, so it's always in saturation. The matter of whether it's positive or negative saturation is based upon the difference between the voltage at the positive and the negative terminal. Figure two shows an example of a positive voltage comparator where the reference voltage is set by a voltage divider. Note that this can also be set by a variable resistor or a potentiometer. When Vn exceeds Vref, the output voltage V out goes to the positive power supply, otherwise the output goes to ground, and this is because the negative power supply is set to ground. So what you see here, the input is a triangle wave, but the output is a square wave, where when the input exceeds the threshold VCC over two, it immediately saturates the op amp at V out, Otherwise, when it's less than the threshold VCC over two, the op amp is at ground. So now let's try an example. Design the following comparator circuit to be a set point alarm, which turns on a warning LED when the process voltage exceeds 3.5 volts and turns on a danger LED when the process voltage exceeds five volts. So what we have here is to set the warning and the danger voltages, we have a circuit with three resistors in series, R1, R2, and R3, and they're connected between a 15 volt power supply and ground. So in order to select these resistor values, we can use the voltage divider. For example, the first equation we would have is that R3 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times 15 must equal 3.5 which is the warning voltage. And our second equation would be R2 plus R3 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times 15 must equal five, which is our danger voltage. So if we put some constraints on these resistors, like we definitely want them in the kilo ohm range, and we want them to be within 5% of the warning and danger values, we can now select one resistor value to solve for the others. So by solving the system of equations, we set one to be a constraint. So for example, if we let R1 equal 10 kilo ohms, we now have two equations and two unknowns. So by solving that system of equations, we get that R2 is equal to 1.5 kilo ohms. And R3 must equal 3.5 kilo ohms. Since we actually don't have a 5% resistor that's 3.5 kilo ohms, we can set R3 to be a variable resistor or potentiometer and set that value to 3.5. So now here's a graph of the results of the comparator we designed. What you should see here is first we have the input, which is V process, and it's a sinusoid that's 10 volts peak to peak or it has a five volt peak. So what happens is when that sinusoid exceeds 3.5 volts right here, then V warning switches from zero volts 
to 15 volts, which is the value of the positive power supply. And then what you see here is when the input exceeds five volts, V danger, which is the red line, switches from a negative 15 volts to a positive 15 volts for the power supply. At this point, both LEDs would be on because V warning and V danger are both at positive 15 until the process crosses the five volts again and now V danger turns back off and the LED turns off. Or when it crosses 3.5, then V warning turns off the LED and now they're both off. So once again, when the threshold exceeds 3.5, the first LED turns on. When the threshold exceeds 5, the second LED turns on. So right here, both LEDs would be on. And right here, both LEDs would be off. All right, let's try one more example. Design the following window comparator circuit to turn on a L low threshold LED when the process voltage exceeds two volts and turn on a high threshold LED when the process voltage is below four volts. In other words, both LEDs will be on when the process voltage is within the window. So the difference between this and the prior example is instead of turning LEDs on when the voltage exceeds two values, this one will turn the LEDs on when the value exceeds V low but it's still less than V high, making this window. So once again, if we want to find the value of the resistors for when V low is two volts, then you use the equation R3 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times 15 is equal to two, and that represents V low. R2 plus R3 over R1 plus R2 plus R3 times 15, and that equals 4, and this represents V high. So now if we select one of our values, for example, let's say we select R3 equal to 1.5 kilo ohms, we now have two equations and two unknowns. And when we solve that system of equations, we get that R2 is also equal to 1.5 kilo ohms. And we get that R1 is 8.25 kilo ohms. But since there isn't a 5% resistor that's 8.25 kilo ohms, we make R1 a potentiometer. Note that on this circuit, the op amps are tied between the positive 15 volt rail and ground. So now what that means is that when the values are below the threshold, instead of going to the negative power supply as it did in the prior example, it will go to ground. So once again, our input is a sinusoid that is 10 volts peak to peak or has a five volt peak and a negative five volt. So if you look here, what happens is that as the input exceeds two volts, the low LED turns on, and because we are still below the threshold of four volts, the high LED is also on. The high LED will stay on until that process voltage exceeds four volts. So at this point here, because the process is between two and four volts, we have both LEDs on. However, as soon as the process falls below four volts, the high LED turns off. And then once the process falls below two volts, the high LED turns back on, but now the low LED is off. And this concludes our discussion of comparators.